Hi, I'm Claudia Skill, a designer and teacher from Colorway Arts, and I'm here today to show you how to make a box that is so functional, so beautiful, and so fun to make. My students have been asking me to make this box for a long time, and now I have the time to make it, and it is very, very fun to make, okay? This box is great to organize remote controls, uh, as a bedside organizer, arts and craft supplies, uh, sewing notions, you know, wherever you want to organize in your house, it's always great to have a box and if you made it, it's even better, okay? And let me tell you, it's a great handmade gift. In this video you'll be covering with fabric, but uh, also you can cover with paper if you prefer, okay? That is a few difference, but I will tell you a few tips here during the process. If you like this idea, stay with me till the end of this video and you will learn tips to have a good finishing and you will learn how to make a very functional fabric box. If you are new here to my channel, this is Cartonage, the amazing art of box making, uh, out of cardboard and covered with fabric or even with paper. Okay, In this case, I cover, I cover with paper. So, uh, very simple materials, no, no expensive tools required and no sewing required, okay? So, let's get started! The materials are very simple. You will need thick chipboard, poster board and some tool to cut the chipboard. Or, if you prefer, you can use a do-it-yourself kit with all pieces of cardboard already cut in the sizes needed to make a box. You also need rotary cutter, cutting mat, scissors. Uh, then grab the fabric you want to make the box, 100% cotton is the best. We also use glue all from Elmer's and to spread the glue we'll need roller paint, paintbrush, we also need masking tape, plastic spatula, a scrap of paper to protect the table and a piece of cloth to clean your hands. We also need a heavy book or other heavy object and the corner miter tool is a good option. Dimensions and links to find tools and kits in the description of the video. So in this video I'll be using my do-it-yourself kit okay, for this project that I call Fabric Caddy Organizer, okay, and there are, here in the side the kit there are all the pieces of cardboard, uh, the thick chipboard and the poster board, whatever you're gonna need to make this project, this is all here inside, already pre-cut in the sizes you need to make the box, okay? I will put the link where you can find the kit in the description of this video, okay? Uh, if you don't want to use a kit, if you want to start from the scratch and cut your own chipboard, that's also great. You're gonna have um, all the dimensions in the description of this video as well, okay? So, uh, here I have a few details to tell you right before we start making the box. Because I designed the box as my students <laughs> want with more divisions, so I did like that with four divisions, so we have three dividers inside the kit and in the dimensions, and, but you don't need to use all of them. So think, uh, before start making, think what are we going to be using it for, because in this case the um, dividers are not removable, okay? So once your box is done, it's done and dividers are glue in place and you cannot remove. So that's why I'd say, so this one is for lots of things you want to organize. In this case here, where I just wanted for my, uh, as a, my bedside organizer. Okay, so here I can fit some books, that was what I want. And here in the first part, you can put, I put my glasses, you can put your phone, cell phone if you want, wherever you want. Okay, so it's very, this project is very flexible. You can use one or two. Uh, three dividers or even you don't if you don't want to use any dividers that's also one idea okay it's just up to up to you just think about before start making the box okay so now let's get started and making the box okay so let's get started and the first thing we're gonna do is work a little bit with the dividers so as I said if you want the three of them you work with all of them yeah, if you want, only the first one uh, is the smallest one, okay? So the pieces, I always put numbers in the kits and also in the dimensions you have in the link, uh, okay, in the description of the video. So I always put numbers in your pieces, it's gonna be easy for you to follow the process, okay? So what I wanna do now is only uh, apply glue and glue them together because for a better finishing, 
uh, we are not using only one piece of chipboard. They're gonna be glued together so it's better and um, more beautiful. So it's pretty simple. Just spread glue on one of the sides of the piece. Okay, and I like to start always putting some glue in my tray and then I go with my roller like this, okay? Just to make sure I have glue around in the beginning. Here I have one piece of scrap paper uh, just to not mess my table, okay? And then I'm gonna apply glue right here on piece number nine, out the way. And then I, I'm gonna glue them together, okay? Make sure they are straight and neat, like this. Okay, press a little bit, okay? And then just put aside and repeat. If you're gonna be doing the three of them, like my case now, then you repeat for out of them. So this is piece nine, piece 10, this is 10, and then the after piece is 11. Press, and the last one. Okay, once you did this, just put, you can put them on a pile like this and put something heavy over while we work with the other pieces so they're gonna be very glue, okay, and dry till we finish. So I'm gonna put here, I'm gonna put my um, tape dispenser, but can be heavy books, whatever you have, just keep aside like that uh, for later, okay? So now we're gonna start covering uh, the pieces of the box, okay? And... Um, so I need pieces number one, two, three, and four, okay? Piece number one is the base of the box. And I cut the fabric about half an inch bigger around, all over, okay, the piece. So here I have piece number one, and then you will see later uh, all the other pieces. And um, I'm gonna be using today one fabric that is dark, like black. Okay, but just because I'm used to and that's okay, but if you are a beginner, here's the, you know, tip number one. <laughs> if you are a beginner, don't go with black fabric or uh, right in the beginning of your project, your first, very first one, because you can kind of mark with glue uh, and maybe you're gonna be, you know, not happy with your project at the end. You can try to clean with water, okay, and then I can show you later, but uh, I always keep in mind that if you start with more, you know, light fabrics, light color fabrics, you will be more happy, at least in the beginning, okay? Once you know how to do it, you are more familiar with the technique, that's okay, you can start using other fabrics. Tip number two, don't go with plain fabric, okay? I don't like like Kona cotton, very plain color fabrics, it's very difficult. They, they kind of, you know, the uh, the glue marks so much and it's difficult to to remove. I don't like. I I don't use and I don't do not recommend you use as well. Okay, okay. Then let's go with piece number one. Now we do not spread the glue over the number. Okay, always to the other side of the piece, right here, and then just spread the glue very well here over piece number one. And then, and the glue is like this, a very thin layer all over the piece. And then you go right on the wrong side of your fabric and just glue it right on the middle. Okay, like this. Press a little bit. And then you flip over and you go with your hands like that and make sure it's well glued. Okay. Another very important tip, you can see here my fabric is like in my stash for a long time. It's all full of wrinkles and that's okay. You don't need to iron the fabric first. No, don't do it. You don't need, okay? Because like when you go and press smooth with your hands, the wrinkles go away, okay? That's a nice good thing to do. Okay, so I did that for piece number one and I repeat that for piece number two, three and four, okay? Ha <laughs> ha! 
I forgot to say something very important. This is the fabric for inside of your box, okay? We always, in this, uh, in the way I do cartonage, we always uh, cover the pieces first with the fabric for the inside. So once we build the box, the box is gonna be already covered inside, okay? So this is my fabric for inside. <laughs> And always have a piece of cloth to clean your fingers if you need, okay? That way you avoid, you know, marking your fabric. And here is, I have something uh, very important as well to tell you. Uh, as this box is not kind of, you know, a square box, there is this shape right here, you know? When you are gluing this, as I said, you apply glue to the piece, the part with, uh, there is no number. So if you are using the kit, if you apply the glue to the side with no number, you are fine. You're gonna be having your great, your box the right way. If you cut your piece, you know, by yourself, you're gonna cut two pieces that are exactly the same. You know, can you see here? They are exactly the same. But when you cover, okay, you have to cover them like mirror, okay? So this is one, and the other one I will be gluing right here. So at the end, I have the opposite sides of the side of my box. Uh, cover the right way, okay? So as you can see here, my fabric is definitely not, you know, straight and neat, and that's another tip here in cartonage, you don't need to cut straight and knit your fabric because, you know, we're gonna be covering and covering something uh, over so you will not be seeing like the finishing here and we always can cut like right now and uh, trim a little bit to have a better, you know, finish. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. We're gonna be trimming around to be ready to build the box, okay? So this is piece number one and it's the base of the box, so I don't need fabric around. I don't need any fabric around, okay? So at this point, check very, another very important tip. Take a look around your piece, and if you see something white, you know, that you have like wet glue, clean with your uh, piece of cloth. That way you don't kind of get your blade dirty very soon, okay? That. So, uh, or just wait like, a few minutes and the glue will be dry and then you can do. So piece number one, just go around like this and cut straight with the chipboard all around. Okay, so this is piece number, this is piece number one, that is the base. Okay, then let's see piece number two. Piece number two is the front of the box. So I have to have kind of half an inch of fabric on the top only. So on the rest, so if your fabric has direction, take a look and only leave fabric on the top. If it doesn't have direction, that's okay. You just cut like this. So here I have piece number two. So here I have piece number two and I only have fabric right here on the top. And you do the same with piece number three. Okay, and um, you cut straight with the bottom and straight with the sides. Okay, and here's piece number three. Okay, then for the two pieces number four, okay, we're gonna cut straight with the chipboard on the bottom, that is the long part, like here, okay. And on the sides, here on the side, um, I just go with my uh, cutter and just cut like this, following the shape, okay? Uh, you can leave around half an inch here as well. And where I have uh, this square corner right here on the top, I'm gonna use my corner miter tool, okay? To cut and bring exactly uh, what I need, and I will be showing. If you don't have this corner tool, 
how you can do it. And I also gonna put the link to find this uh, tool in the description of the video. Okay, so this is what I want. I want to, I need some fabric here on the corner. Okay, don't cut straight. If you go and cut with scissors, don't cut straight with the chipboard right there. So let me do here. So again, you can use a ruler or just go like this. Uh, and here I'm gonna cut a little bit as well. And then again cut on the top. And here let me go with scissors. So if you don't have the corner tool, you can just go with scissors and cut like this 45 degrees and leave a space here in between. Then let's finish the pieces. Piece number one is ready. Piece number two and three is super simple. You just spread a little bit of glue right there on that edge where you have fabric. Spread with your brush like this. Okay. And then use one uh, plastic spatula or one old credit card, whatever you have at home that you can do like this. And then you bring like this. It's extremely, <laughs> it's super important that you clean your spatula. You know, especially if you are having like dark fabric like I'm having today, so I have to clean. Okay, then here, this is not square. So what I'm doing, I will, I'm gonna start in this edge right here. Okay, so don't leave a lot of fabric around. Okay, no more than half an inch. Okay, that will help in the finishing. So spreading on this edge and also I like to spread here on the corner, okay? Then you come here, bring your fabric tight, clean if you need, and uh, I like to press my fabric here, okay? And then go to the other side. Spread here, you can go all the way. There are some different ways of having this corner done as it is not a square corner. I kind of like to spread the glue on the corners and then I bring here, okay? And I know my fabric is glued there. Cleaning, okay. Another way would be like, if you have spread the glue all the way here and also there, then instead of pressing that corner, you bring here. Okay, so you're gonna have that as well. And if this is too much, if you see there is too much fabric there, you can cut that extra. It's a very good way, okay? But here my, my uh, concern about using a scissor, tr don't go all the way to the top because maybe you'll see later in the finish box. So always, or you do like this, okay? But then if you cut, as I said, don't go, this is a very important tip. Don't go with the scissor right on the edge of the piece, okay? Good. So here I have the square corner. So I'm gonna be applying glue on that corner and press this fabric here, okay? Press, this is important. And then you go to the other side. If you want to know how to have a very good corner, I will link, uh, I will put the link of the video showing how to do the corner. Uh, having great corners, you know, so you can see that video better and have a better idea, okay? So here is my piece, I'll cover I'll, uh, around and then let's do the other one. So next, this time I'm gonna start with this edge that is with the square corner, so maybe it's easy for you. So you spread the glue here, I spread the glue right on the corner, come with the fabric tight and press down. Okay, press down. And then I go all the way there. A little bit here. Go here. And then here. Okay. So here I can clean. When you are working with dark fabric, you can also have a, like, uh, it's better to have a wet fabric with you, like a piece of cloth that you can better clean your fingers. That would be kind of better. <laughs> okay. Now here. And here. Good. So now I have that pointy corner and I'm gonna cut it out. 
Okay, so basically I have here my pieces ready to build the box, but at this point we're gonna use the dividers, we're gonna cover the dividers because you're gonna add them during the process of building the box, okay? So they are already dry, okay? So now choose the fabric you want for the dividers, okay? And they must to be enough. In this case, I'm gonna use the same fabric as I'm using for uh, the outside of my box. Uh, it's your choice, okay? But you have to have enough. Uh, another thing important, you will see that all dividers, they have different height, but they are the same width, okay? So this is the way you are gonna be gluing them. Okay, so what you need is a piece of fabric big enough to cover both sides of your divider. Okay, so take a look at here. I have my piece and must to be enough. Okay, or I always put in my fabric like this, do this, and then I cut a little bigger. Okay, how much bigger? Mm, just a little. You don't need half an inch. It's kind of too much already. So let me show you here. To cover these three dividers, it's simple. So we just start with one side, okay? Apply the glue all over one of the sides and then just glue right there, like on the corner. Leave a little bit of fabric around. Press, okay? And that's it for the first one. And then you repeat for all other ones. Let me So once you have your pieces done, uh, here I have the white thing I said, so I'm gonna be cleaning because the glue is wet around. I'm gonna be cleaning a little bit. Okay. If you wait like a few minutes, that will dry and you don't need to do that. But right here in the video I have to do it, <laughs> okay? So now uh, you see we have different sizes of fabric around and that's okay I just don't because we're gonna trim now okay the most important thing here is that you have enough to cover both sides so now I need to cut straight with the chipboard on the bottom and also on the sides and then here is important you go a little bit more than when you finish your piece of cardboard you go a little bit further like this okay just to facilitate your process now okay and here's the same so we cut out the way and a little bit more okay so that's what I want for the three pieces okay Okay, so three pieces are ready now, and then we're gonna spread the glue to the other side of them, okay. Oh, too much glue, sorry guys. Okay, so we spread the glue here, and I also like to do this and spread a little bit of glue here, okay, on the top, okay. And then you just come here and bring like pull this fabric a little bit to make sure it is tight here okay and then press smooth and also here so your fabric will be your piece will be very well yeah uh, as I was using a piece of fabric that I had at home I didn't have so much this is kind of short here so if you leave around half an inch around you will feel more comfortable you know when you are gluing that because if you glue the cardboard just, you know, a little crooked, then you may don't have enough fabric, okay? So just another good tip. Okay, let's spread the glue here, very gentle. Another thing, if you are starting, 
try to avoid fabric like this that has, you know, direction that can be more, you know, just a little bit more work for you because you have to figure out the right direction of the fabric. So I'll choose a random pattern with no direction and that will be kind of easier for you to get started, okay? Okay, and then press here as well. Okay, press, it's going to play well. Very good. So now what I have to do is trim around and our dividers will be ready, okay? Just go now with your cutter and cut all around. So here I have my three dividers ready, the pieces of the box ready, and next we're gonna be building the box. So now we're gonna be making the box, and we're gonna start with piece number one, that is the base of the box. As I said, the fabric is for the inside, so when our box is finished, it will be all covered inside, so keep that in mind. And hold, like, we're gonna start with piece number one and use piece number two. Uh, as my second piece, okay, and that will be glued right here, like on top of piece number two, right? Uh, two on the top of piece number one, like here, okay? So what I want you to make sure you are gluing correct like this. So I, here, building the box, I'm looking to the paper, I'm not looking to the fabric. So in case you do this, you are wrong, okay, because then at the end your box will not be pretty, right? So pay attention on this and also we cover the top of the pieces so the top of our box is gonna be ready so don't do this <laughs> or your fabric will be uh, your box will also not be good okay so i'm gonna be using my brush now i need glue and masking tape so i pick a little bit of glue and i spread right here on that edge of the box and then i use piece number two i put piece number two right there on the top, okay, align with here with the bottom of piece number one, and then I put two pieces of masking tape. I like to put like the piece of masking tape there, and then I pull a little bit, okay, so it is kind of uh, very well tied together, okay, pull a little bit, so here is what I need, what I have so far, okay, then you flip this piece like this, and then you go and glue piece number three right there. That is the back of our box, okay? So here it's gonna be piece number three. Just put right there. Hold our pieces together and then put the masking tape, press a little bit, the masking tape and press a little bit. Okay. So once I have this, it's not stable so don't kind of now it's kind of loose so far. So put in this position right here, okay? And now it's time to apply glue all over the three parts here, okay? So we have three edges now. This fabric is. not a lot of glue and I like kind of to hold my brush like 45 degrees here so I'm not messing with the front of my fabric okay very good once I have this I have one of the pieces number four that will fit here okay because they are opposites remember so here is the piece number four that really fits here because here is small and there is bigger. So try to align them, but right in the position, okay? And align right on the top here and put a small piece of masking tape, but that masking tape don't go all the way to the top, okay? Like leave kind of one quarter there. And then I like to align the other top to make sure they are all very well aligned and then I put my masking tape. More masking tape. I align the bottom. Okay, make sure it's all right. I put 
put in this position as well to make sure it's you know pressed and it's all in the right position okay okay very good so now we're gonna do something different you know for the normal boxes when we do not use dividers that's the time we're gonna flip over and do the rest right in this case i'm gonna be uh, adding dividers okay so i'm gonna do this right now before finishing so once my box is done it's done with dividers okay that's why i say i said to you it is our uh, glue and the dividers are not removable okay if you want to do them as removable you can kind of finish your box don't do what I'm doing here. And at the end, you just put your dividers inside, but they will not be, they may not stay in place, you know, uh, correct. So that's why I decided to make a piece number 12. That is just a template, okay? You're gonna only use it here for this part. It's around five, uh, two inches uh, wide. And that's the distance I want between my dividers. So just in case, if you don't want this divider, if you want like the far away or uh, more close, okay, just make another template that's just important that is really square, okay, and you have the space you want in between. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my spacer right here, right on the beginning, right on the front, align here with the beginning of the box, and this is my piece number, my first divider. Okay, so I'm gonna be gluing it there, right? So what I need here is, let me see, this is the front. This is the position I want, you know, on the front of my box. So I'm gonna be gluing them like this. So now I spread the glue on the part that goes like, that will be gluing right there, okay? And also on the bottom. I don't need to spread the glue on the other side yet because, you know, we're gonna be gluing that later. So, okay, I spread the glue here and here. Then, put a line right there, okay? So you have, in my case, it's black, so I have to be careful, okay? And press, 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 press. Just, you know, for a little time, just to make sure it will stay, you know, in place. And then you can put one small piece of masking tape, hold the position, put one piece of masking tape like this, right there, okay? And then I'm gonna remove careful my template and I put another piece of masking tape here, okay? So my first divider is already there. So I need my second divider, just repeat. Now the, your template is right here, align with the first one, and then you pick the second one. This is the position I want, so I'm gonna be gluing here. Don't put too much glue, okay? Because in case you have to move that, back, that piece for some reason, you maybe will mark your fabric. That's the biggest problem making dividers. Okay, so here just put right there, align it, so I know I have my two inches in between. Okay, press again, hold a little bit, and then one piece of masking tape there. This masking tape is just to help this to stay in position, but you know, it's kind of, this is not really stable so far, so just make sure don't move so much. So here I have my kind of my box with two dividers already, okay? And then I'm gonna put my third one. Because in this case I want, you know, as I said, if you don't want to put all these masking, these dividers, that's okay. your last one here press press and just be careful okay 
Now with my dividers glue right in the right position, I need to apply glue on all those edges here and glue the last part, okay? So let's do that. the last part you just put this one right the same way we did before put a piece align with one side then you align here on the top put the masking tape align out the way okay, make sure they are aligned here on the bottom as well And what I want you to do now is you kind of feel here with your hand, feel where is the first divider and put one masking tape kind of the same here, the same position and uh, press very well. So you're going to be helping to have it go right. Okay. Oh, wow. So here I have my box with all the dividers. Okay. And I have one more important thing to do right now. Uh, I can see, and you probably will see the same thing in yours, that is not kind of completely attached here in the last part you did on the top here. So what I do, I press a little bit and I pick a piece of masking tape that is bigger, okay? Put the masking tape here, press here, you know, hold together so you can see, you can see here in the front that the dividers are really, you know, glue uh, attached to the sides of your box okay don't leave any gap there press with masking tape this masking tape will stay here for some time so we're gonna be finishing outside and then we remove this masking tape before finishing okay so that's so far the box with dividers and then we're gonna be making the covering outside now Okay, so now it's time to cover outside of the box, okay? So that's the way we do cartonnage, the way I like to do. We cover inside first and then now we just need to cover outside. And to cover outside, we're gonna use some poster board, okay? Again, the dimensions are uh, in the description of this video. But basically, what you wanna have, we need pieces of poster board that are exactly the same size of each side of the box, okay? So uh, you can measure or you can trace this in poster board and cut exactly what you need, okay? So let's see. We have one piece number five that is for the front of the box and then the two pieces of, two pieces six that are for the uh, sides, okay? Again, they have to be glue opposite sides okay opposite things because that's the way we're gonna be gluing there and my suggestion to have a very better finishing I prefer using one big piece of fabric that covers piece number five and two pieces number six and you're gonna be putting them in this situation in this position right here piece number five in the middle pieces number six so here they match the side right and once you're gonna be gluing is just a little space in between okay kind of 160 so you put them like this in this position and cut your fabric kind of half an inch bigger around on the sides and here on the top but cut like this as a rectangle and we're gonna be trimming later it's easier okay so let's go i always keep my pieces uh, like this on my fabric so, and then I start gluing piece number five, that is the center piece. That way I kind of can glue, as I said, like more straight and neat, okay? Because sometimes I, if I start on the, the side, sometimes I go not straight, okay? So again, spread the glue on the piece number, the back of piece number five, the, the piece with, you know, the part with no number. The same way you did for the chipboard, now you do for the poster board, okay? So that's piece number five. And then 
a little bit putting them right here in the middle. Okay. Then flip over and I go like this. Okay, remove the pieces and press with your hands to make sure it's well glued. Okay, so then let's go from one of the pieces number six. remember <laughs> okay and then this goes right here And then the last one. Okay, so if you don't have a piece of fabric that is big enough to cover this, you can do and glue them separate, like only piece five, have an inch bigger around, only piece six and piece, uh, the other piece six like we did for the uh, inside. And um, when you are gluing, you can, you know, start gluing pieces six first and then the piece five will be glued later, okay? Good, so now I have to trim around because I have too much fabric. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm just going and cut. You can use one of the spacers to cut this as well if you have. I don't have here with me right now, but that's okay. Uh, when I have corners, square corners, I will be doing here as I did before. And right here on the middle, right here in this part, I'm gonna be following the shape of my piece, okay? And leave, and be around half an inch, a little less, that's okay. Okay, so like this. Now I also need a scissor, because right here and here on the middle, I have to make one cut like 45 degrees right there in the middle, okay, like this, and also here, okay. Make sure it's all glue, sometimes you need to reapply a few, a little bit of glue, make sure your finishing will be good, okay. And now what I need to do is glue uh, only the top of this part, okay, all the way to the beginning, uh, the way to the end, but you can go like part by part. It's gonna be kind of more easy. Here, spread the glue also on the uh, fabric, okay? And then using your spatula, you will start gluing this. Clean, glue here, and then. Let me see here where I have this extra fabric as I had before, okay? I just cut, cut that extra. And then right here to the end. Okay. 
Okay, so now I have here my piece that will be uh, the outside of my box, okay? And this is uh, for the front and sides. This is from front and sides. And let's go ahead and finish piece seven and eight. Seven is the piece for the back, okay? So I usually go with the same fabric, okay? Because I have front and sides and I like my back to be the same. So in this case, you just go half an inch, cut the fabric, kind of cut the fabric half an inch bigger, okay? And just finish gluing like that. Number eight will be the bottom, okay? I'm gonna be using the other fabric now, but you can use whatever fabric you want. This is piece number eight. <laughs> Take a look at how wrinkled is my fabric. <laughs> I don't know, but it is a long time in my stash. And you can see it was not very well folded, right? <laughs> I guess. You... Okay, just blend a little bit. Flip over and for the max. See? It's alright. No wrinkles. Okay, then now for those two pieces here, seven and eight, you have to cut corners on the four corners. Okay? We have square, only square corners, so just go ahead and do that. So now I cut corners on both pieces. Now piece number seven, that is the back. You're gonna be gluing only sides and top, okay? Leave the bottom unfinished. So I like to spread my glue here on both sides. Okay. Press the corner, okay, and then do this. Very good. And for piece, this is the back, okay? And for the bottom, that is piece number eight, you're gonna finish it all around. So glue, choose big sides first, and then the other two. So this is poster board, sometimes depending on the fabric, uh, as poster board like it's thinner than chipboard, when I use the corner tool, sometimes my, uh, sometimes my corner has like a very, just a pointy part, you know, uh, an extra fabric there, I just go and cut with scissor if that's bothering me, like I, I look right here on the front, and if I see that is this part that I have to trim, I just do like this, okay? So it's sometimes depend on the fabric that's more than in other fabrics. Let's see this one. I'm gonna cut as well. So this is another great tip for a good finishing, okay? This is really important uh, because then at the end it's everything all right, okay? Okay, so now our pieces are ready to apply to our box and that will be the last step of making this box. So uh, here we have our piece ready, okay? Uh, and if you want to add something, a detail right here on the front, like uh, a handle or some other details, as I made in some places, uh, I made in some times, you know, so you can just make some holes here, uh, put the, the piece like a metal knob or thing like that, Make a hole wherever you need. You can use a paper roll, uh, fix right here on the back, okay? And that is the time to apply. When you apply here, is already with the embellishment you want for the front. In this case, I don't want anything, 
So let's just continue this. So I'm gonna remove this masking tape that I put here only, you know, for uh, to make sure that dividers will be in place and they are very nice now, okay? So now I'm gonna start doing uh, the same, the middle piece, okay, piece number five. We're gonna need masking tape now, okay? So let's go. I uh, spread the glue only on here, piece number five, okay? And then I go, don't move this piece right now, okay? Hold this in place because if you move, you may mark with glue the front of the, the piece, okay? That's not nice. So make sure you have glue all over here, okay? And then that goes right here on the front of your box. Just let me check the position, okay? And then must fit perfectly, okay, in your box. So here on the front, once you glue, and you have a line with the top, you put some masking tapes like this, okay? Because, you know, when we are covering with fabric, fabric with fabric, you know, doesn't glue right away. So you have to have the masking tape to press, um, to keep them together till they uh, are, you know, very well dry. So now I like to do this with my box. I put in this position right here. So I'm gonna apply the glue all over and then spread very well. Again, make sure you have glue all over and try not to move. Sometimes I like to spread here very well just to make sure. Okay. And then hold and then find the right position for this piece that will be, you know, aligned with the side of your box. And then the extra fabric we have on the bottom and this the back goes, you glue here. So if you don't have enough glue, don't worry, just spread a little bit more of glue right here. Okay, and that's it. Here is the important part that once you, now the important part, once you put the, you have your piece in the right position, and again, you just put masking tape. This masking tape will not be removed until ne the next day, okay? I really like to keep overnight all my pieces with masking tape so I know they will be drying in the right position, okay? And we're gonna have a very good finishing on the next day. Okay, so here and now hmm, let's see. I have to move my scrap paper here because there are too much glue. Let me fold. And then I'm gonna glue the next piece. my masking tape first and then I will take care of the back and the bottom, okay? Another thing I like to do once I, I press the masking tape, I like to press with using my claw over. So I know, so here in this case there is a gap, let me just fix it, okay, okay, now it's right. So I know it will be, you know, very well uh, attached, right? So now I'm gonna press pass glue here on the back. And then I can use my spatula just to make sure the bottom is all right. 
Okay, so uh, now before gluing the next piece, I like to check here on the top because sometimes we have an extra fabric here that we can cut. If that's, you know, higher than the box itself. Okay. And then let's see, here I have some extras as well. I can just go and cut with scissors on the corners. Okay. Good. So now I have my piece number seven, that is the back, and I'm gonna be gluing right here. Same way. So here one of the biggest difference between uh, cover with fabric and cover with paper. When we cover with paper, we cannot do that, right? We, we don't put masking tape because we're going to destroy the paper. So it's a little different. There are a few tips and tricks that are important when working with paper. I don't have time to talk ever about everything here. So if you are interested in covering with paper, uh, I have one complete online course showing how to make boxes covering fabric, covering paper, sorry. So you will have a lot of information uh, and you can make not, you know, other kinds of boxes as well. But the most important things about covering with paper, the difference between covering with paper and fabric, uh, I cover in that my online course. Okay, so check my online school. Okay, so now my box is all covered inside, all covered outside. The only thing we have to cover is the bottom, right? So now piece number eight, I already covered with the fabric. And now the box is completely done. I'll cover it inside, I'll cover it outside. So what I'm gonna do now, you wait overnight and then you remove all those masking tapes and your box is ready to use, okay? Then I hope so much that you like this video. Uh, if you like the way I teach, the way I like to explain how to do it, you know, you may like to learn more from me. And then I have just a few local classes, but most of the, of all, I have one online school. So you can learn from me from your house, okay? The, I will put the link in, of my online school in the description of the video. So take a look, I have some free classes and some paid classes, okay? So you can make lots of uh, fabric boxes and paper boxes, you know, following uh, great uh, tutorials like this and with much more details okay step by step i always like to give you so many tips and tricks and uh, all the information that you need to make different kind of boxes create your own boxes the size you want okay thank you so much for watching i do hope you like it and let me know in the comments what you think your thoughts what you want to learn next okay it's always good to keep in touch okay thank you so much and see you another time bye bye